In this video, I'm going to show you how to save toolpaths for an automatic tool changer. If you take a look at the project tree on the right hand side, I'm just going to click the plus sign next to toolpaths and you can see that I have five different toolpaths that I've created. If I click the plus sign next to the area clearance, you can see all of the tools that I've created. So if I select that particular tool, which is the 12mm end mill, you can see that it's assigned to tool number 1 at the bottom right of the screen here. If I select the 6mm end mill, you can see that that's also assigned to tool number 1. So I need to change this as regards to what I have on my tool changer. So let's say that that's tool number 2. So I can apply that and that's changed. If I go back to the end mill, the 12mm, you can see that that's tool number 1. The end mill, 6mm, is tool number 2. And then I can do the same for the end mill 1.5 and apply that. Now I'm not going to do that for the rest of the tools. I just wanted to show you how you can change your tool numbers as regards to what they are on your actual tool changer. Now you can also do this when you actually create the toolpath. So if I just edit the area clearance and let's just take a look at the let's say the 12 millimeter and just click the drop down here you can see I've got a tool number so you can actually do it when you create the toolpath. So if I close the area clearance what we're going to do now is to save the toolpaths for the machine. So if we click on toolpaths again and select here to save the toolpaths. Take a look on the right hand side. You can see all of the toolpaths to save. Now you can see here under tool number, we've got tool number one, two and three that we changed. All of the others are still tool number one. So I would need to change those in relation to what's actually on the machine. Now if I only wish to let's say save the area clearance toolpaths, I didn't actually wish to do the bevel carving or the v-bit carving, what I can do is to just select the bevel carving, v-bit carving and then remove the selected toolpath from the output list. So I can do that there. So what I'm going to do is just post these three toolpaths here because if I were to post these ones because they all have the same tool number ArtCam will automatically give me an error message as a safety precaution because they are different tools but they all have the same tool number. So I'm going to first of all change the file name to automatic tool changer toolpath. I have a save in here. Now if you saw the previous saving toolpath video you can see that I created a folder and that's saved here which is a g-code folder that I saved onto the desktop. Now, if you wish to do this in another location if you just click browse and browse to the location that you want. The machine file format is the post processor for saving the toolpaths so here you can see we have well over 200 posts available within ArtCam for many types of machines. What I'm going to do is use an Axis multi-tool changer and then click save. Now if I open up my folder you can see that I have this g-code here. If I open that up you can see the g-code ready to be sent to my machine. Here you can see it's specifying a tool change the 12mm slot drill There you can see that it's specifying the next tool change which is here. 